has it sunken in yet? Has it sunken in that this long quest is, has finally Not ended? quite. If all through yesterday was the same thing. People are, all day long, they're like, you don't seem to be like very joyful. Because I said, I don't know, understand it, but it's almost like after all these years, I can't believe it finally happened. Mm -hmm. And it happened quickly. And maybe that's just the nature of the legislature. Things mm -hmm. move, and you've seen it, Randy. So, 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 then boom, mm -hmm. done. And it came so quickly, and I always said 2013 was the year to do it. The timing was perfect for it to be done this year, mm -hmm. with a lot of hard work leading to it. But mm -hmm. so to see it all come to uh, a grand finale, if you will, was mm -hmm. a little overwhelming. When we talk about in terms of issues, you have to put a face on the issue, because mm -hmm. otherwise it's, it's words on paper. Yep. And those we know those words affect lives, but when those words on paper are being said by someone looking at you, like you're looking at me, and you're looking mm -hmm. into somebody's eyes, and then you also know the person, mm -hmm. and you're familiar with this, and you hear people, it's like we do in life, when people are describing their life stories, we tend to, I anyway, you say, oh, that's something similar happened with me. Right. You draw what draws us together, not what separates us, and that right. becomes the emphasis. And so literally putting that face on this issue was extremely important because it made it's very hard for someone, and, and especially the reps that I know and care about deeply on this floor, when they see someone talking about family and commitment and love, and they're looking at the person, they can draw similar situations from that, it's moving and it can move people to vote for this issue. And I knew that was the strongest case to be made for this. Um, in terms of a lot of the other stuff becomes words on the paper. And I've lived my life openly. They all know my partner, Marcus. We've been together all these years. Mm -hmm. They love him and accept him. And I thought that, and, and believed that if I get to be speaker, not because of me and again, people are first always ambitious and all this stuff, mm -hmm. but it's really like you get to set the agenda. And I knew that, and I know this building, and as Speaker of the House, I felt that I could play my role, as well as all these other folks that have been playing a role. That's why I say this is, this is about us and how so many people worked hard to get this done. I felt that my becoming Speaker of the House would move this issue forward. I will forever respect and admire Link Chafin, no matter how many differences may be out there, or what people may say about the governor. Mm -hmm. When he put that on the table, Randy, in his inauguration speech, mm -hmm. the first thing I said is, I'm not alone anymore on this issue. Yeah. I've got a friend and a partner, and he's been committed to it all of his political career, and for him to put that in an inaugural address, was sea change, was absolute sea change. And and that's point, been the, the number one question I've had all day. At some point you see that happen. Oh, I can see. I mean, we've been living in a committed, and I've been wearing this ring since 1999. Mm -hmm. And so we've really been committed to each other since then. So, and again, because I truly believe in family and, and, and commitment. Um, I, born and raised Catholic, I still consider myself a Catholic. Okay. And I'm not the best practicing Catholic. And I mean, I never know if I walk into church, I'm going to be greeted. But I consider myself Catholic. Okay. I, I mean, I was baptized, I was christened in the Catholic Church, confirmed in the Catholic Church, and there's so much about the church that I love to this day, mm -hmm. and it's so much a part of, again, my family, my history. Do you ever think you'd be on the front page of the <laughs> no, this one, I was getting text messages this morning, and they're saying, <laughs> you're on the front page planting a lickers on Marcus. Because if you know, I am not a big, I'm very private in my personal life, and I've been that politically. You're not going to see me putting the little family on the pictures of the campaign brochures. Yep. And as Marcus says, I'm not into PDAs. He goes, so here you go from you only with old hands in public to plant a full lip kiss on me at the state house steps. He goes, times truly have changed. But really true. Mm -hmm. And I think going to the governor again, having that governor in your hand, you're going, it's like we're signing it now. Mm -hmm. So we did very rarely do you see a bill that did. Hot off the presses from the floor when you see that. No, I haven't. I've never Walk seen down it. to the governor's office and then we go out to a grand signing with this majestic building, this temple right. to democracy as the backdrop. Right. Extremely special. Mm -hmm. And it, it seems surreal in some regards, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, it's a nice feeling. This is a nice one.